another wash video if you guys are sick of seeing me seeing wash sick of me doing wash videos or hearing me say that i apologize the baby we've got to do the wash videos because first of all look at how long my hair is just got out the shower if you guys know back on the 25th of may i dyed my hair jet black like my hair is always jet black but i freshened up my jet black with my dark and lovely which if i remember i will put it in the comment section or below so you guys can see which the link to which dark and lovely i normally use the jet black but this is literally what my hair is i've been out the shower now for about five minutes and you guys know that normally when i get out the shower i stay in my towel just because i like the remainder of the water to drip onto my towel and not onto my clothes for the day so i stay in my towel for about 30 minutes um or less and i let my hair drip 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 until it gets on towel but this is my hair right now freshly washed so you see how long it's coming definitely under armpit under armpit for sure um and it's still layered but i'm gonna turn around real quickly so you guys can see where it's at from the back that's from the side let me scoot this chair out so you guys kind of can see like how far it is it's if i had on a bra it's to my bra and some of my pieces are longer than my bra so it's it's pretty long um you all know that I'm about to be hitting four years locked, so um, we hit four years on July 1st, 2023, and I'm super excited about the four years, but I wanted to make this video just because this is my second wash since I dyed my hair back on the 25th. Um, today is the 20th, don't get me to line, I think it's the 27th or the 28th. Think it's the 27th the 28th I think it's the 28th anyway this is my second wash since then so about three days later I've rewashed my hair and the reason that I rewashed my hair later so faith if you're watching this video is to get the excess um, dye out of my hair if there's any so normally when I wash my hair the first time I'm washing it really well with the after conditioner that they give me with the vitamin E in it and I'm washing my hair very, very thoroughly, trying to, you know, striving to make sure that I get all of the dye out of my hair. So I'm wringing my hair out. I'm letting my hair run through the water. I'm letting it do so many different things to make sure we get all of the residue out, the dye residue. But let me tell you something. My hair is getting longer. It's getting um, thicker. And you want to make sure, like, when you're dyeing your hair, you, especially with locks, it's like, you got to make sure that that dye is not, like, you know like trying to start living inside the locks you know because it can like blog up like get real you know and try to try to stay in the locks so that's why i press through all my hair wring it out as many times as i need in the shower to ensure that i'm getting it out so this shower run i literally made sure that i seen when i first washed my hair i seen a little bit of black residue fall and then i kept on rinsing 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 and then i put the after conditioner back in my hair and I started wringing and rinsing wringing and rinsing all the way until my water ran super clear then I just got back under the shower head and I just looked again to see if it ran clear now another thing that really helps me with my hair is I use like the water pick shower heads that you can actually take off not only is that easier to clean your bathrooms with but it's also easier to wash your hair because if you have a day where you just did a a deep conditioner you did something and you like really want to make sure you get everything out of your hair i take the the head of the shower ring and i put it on my head like this and let it fall through the water but if you have like a shower head that you just have to stand under then that's a little different because you have to stand there and wait for it to rinse out but i like the hang up option to take it down and literally go through my hair like this but I also stand underneath the shower too to make sure that the water is running clear. Once I didn't see any more residue in that water, I was like, okay, okay, let's get it. So now this is where we're at. 
So I believe that I, you know, and obviously I had edge control in this week. So some of the product that was coming out of my hair was probably activating some of the dye to come out. So yeah, so my water ran clear. I'm gonna wash my hair again, but not right now, next week sometime. And by the time I wash it next week, that's gonna be my third and final like wash that has to do with the dye. I don't like my dyes to bleed through my clothing and I don't like my dye to be stuck in my hair. So I space out the times in which I wash my hair to ensure that it's not stuck in my hair. Now, as I told Faith in the comment section, you might not have read my comment to Faith in the last video um, regarding my, my, my dye, but a lot of times following me dyeing my hair, I will put on darker clothing just to make sure that if it did bleed through on a rainy or a hot day, it's bleeding through onto a black garment. Therefore, you're not gonna noticeably see that. If I have on white, I have on gray, I have on those type of colors on my first day after washing my hair, it might bleed through. It might, like, I can wash it out really well, but if it decides that, hey, it's really hot or it's rainy and you have any leftover residue in your hair, your shirt might get stained and I don't really be going for that so I just make sure that I you know plan appropriately it's crazy how long my hair is like me sitting here and feeling where it's dropping it's insane it's insane like I was just looking at pictures this morning when my hair was really short and I looked like somebody's little brother and now I'm looking like <laughs> I'm looking like a million bucks when I actually get dressed and put my and do my hair. It be looking real, real good. But I'm gonna go ahead and put me some um, hemp seed oil on my face because I did do my aloe face wash in the shower. But I just wanted you to know that's what I do after my secondary wash. Now, I know you're supposed to do it like this, y'all, but I'm, like, out of this stuff, and I'm trying to use it until there's absolutely, like, no more. So, I'm just, like, however I can get it is what I'm doing. Like, when I tell you, it's, like, almost out. I have, I probably can use this, like, two more times and really, like, get everything out of it before I have to actually throw it in the trash. I've had this hemp serum for a long time. I'm actually developing a pimple on my bottom of my chin and it looks hideous, but whatever. So y'all know I was talking about the other day how my lashes like all came off. I think I told y'all in the video or maybe I didn't post the video. Girl, it all came off in a couple days timing and I was just like, what's going on? So now I tried individuals at my salon that I go to and we're gonna see how the individuals hold up on me. Cause then I can just go back for refills. Right now they're looking good. I think I went, I got my lashes done three days ago. Nothing's fallen out so far. And I get her to do my lashes full. That way when they start falling out, they don't look too bad. But they look good. My eyelashes were looking bald headed, so I was like, girl, we're gonna have to do this again. So now that my hair, let me put some, it would be nice to put on some deodorant. Sorry, y'all. I'm getting my life. I'm literally getting my life in front of y'all. And for my edges, I am gonna do some content today, so I wanna make sure that I get my edges while they're a little bit wet. I don't know about y'all, but I don't like to really try to go after my edges when my hair is completely dry because I just feel like a little bit of water helps with the formation and not to be so like rough. So I'm just gonna have me a little edge control now. That way when I actually get dressed to start making the content, this will be out the way. Now the rest of my hair is air drying. I'm about to um, throw on something real quick to take roots outside. But I'm gonna end up posting this video before I take it outside. But yeah, this is me. I'm so glad my hair is like, my hair goals are becoming my reality. 
And I love the fact that it's my real hair. Like, like I told you, I'm just a stickler for having real hair. Like I've always loved like rocking my real hair. It's just, like I said, you used to, you know, you. <laughs> Times I used to wear braids and um, sew-ins and stuff was really as protective styles or to achieve like a lot longer hair. And I'm so glad I don't gotta do that no more. Like, I know, because my locks are growing so long that before you know it, they're going to be the same length as my wiggies. Um, like, my extensions and the same length as my braids. So, girl, ain't nobody worried about that. Why about the inches when you can grow them? <laughs> Baby, please. When I tell y'all, I'm so enthralled about my journey. There's nothing about me that's trying to change me being locked like girl please 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 she a baddie with her baddie friends mm -hmm. how can i lose when i'm already chose <laughs> i better act like y'all know because these locks are growing but now I'm actually trying to really make sure that I look presentable today. Um, I think I'm going to order some food and stay home. It's Sunday. Either I'm going to order food and stay home or I'm going to go get food and stay home. Because I need to grocery shop, which is a part of my to-do list of creating what I need to do for the week. Um, I have uh, some more things coming up too. Closings and things we just had one the other day. My broker just starting to, you know, do what it needs to do, so... You know, I gotta thank God. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thank God. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thank God for where he has brought me and where he is taking me to. One thing I'm gonna do. Can't be ashamed of that, baby. I said, my prayers, Lord, I need you to enlarge my territory and what he did, enlarged it and what I did put the action plan together and started to follow it. So like, I'm grateful for where my life is going, even on the rough days where I wanna cry. And you know how people be like, when you wanna cry, pull your hair out. I don't wanna pull my hair out, but when I wanna cry, or when I do cry, I'm still grateful because no matter how overwhelmed and how much I go through, I still had his brain. So it's like the vision, the tools, they don't disappear. I just have to get over my mood of whatever it is that day or whenever and understand that I'm blessed beyond measure and nothing, nothing um, could get in my way when God has got my back. So that's something that I really, um, really take into heart and consideration. No. Because I know a lot. I know a lot to be, you know, as young as I am. Some people, you know, say, oh, you got the old soul and you know so much. And it's because, you know, I've been through a lot to figure it out. And also, like, I utilize the brain and the mind that God gave me. And really, it really be putting me in positions that hustling can't put you. Because God will really be coming through. That's why I said, Lord, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up and follow you. You know, and it's not your, it's no one else's business what your relationship looks like with Christ. People see, oh, you got, you going out, oh, you got on that, you got on this. You're worried about the wrong thing. A lot of people got religion, not relationship. So I know where I, what I've been through and I know what God has brought me through. So no one will ever be able to tell me, you know, So I've done my edges. So now, you see how rich that looks? It's something about jet black hair on me that I absolutely love. 
it's just so fresh and y'all know that black and y'all know black is my favorite color so when i do my hair i ain't about to put no bleach in my hair baby you trying to grow some real inches you trying to have some real healthy hair i'm gonna leave that bleach alone I'm trying to tell you you better leave that bleach alone if you really want color, y'all better try out that, uh, what's that stuff that the girls be using? Um, it's a hair wax paint or whatever it's called. Y'all better try that out and get one of them. But don't be ruining the hair that you're going to have for a long time behind no bleach. Because that's the thing about locks. It's like, this your real hair. And not only is it your real hair, it is in the form of locks. So when, once you damage that, it's gonna be a different recovery process. If you start bleaching your hair um, regularly, and you start to notice up here, you got so many breaking points at the top because of the bleach, then that means all the way up here might be subject to breaking unless you're able to like interlock it or do something to save it. And then you might have weak points all right here making your hair like you don't know that's the thing about bleach it is literally it varies you don't know where the breakage is gonna come even though you know it's gonna come so you don't want to ruin your hard work i know me i'm gonna be four years going on five years well i'll be four years in a month and one month i'll be four years locked going on my fifth year fifth year i'm not about to waste all that hard work that energy that time that dedication that those you know I'm not wasting all that hard work on sitting here bleaching my hair. I'm just not. Mm -mm. I'm not doing it. Now down the road, it, we, you never know how you are, but for these last like, four years, I've been like, mm -mm, I ain't gonna do it. I don't care. And look at, look at, I'm not gonna do it. Look where that got me. So I am gonna be having my bottles of oil sale out there to the public because I know a few of you have gotten personal wills from me and you said that you love it and it's working so just wait for the day to come to where you guys are able to get you're able to get the real real or the real real I'll see y'all in another video make sure y'all like comment share subscribe but that is my update um my hair is not dripping as much anymore so it's been about 25 minutes now I would say that my hair has been out of the shower so I'm gonna finish doing my little quick get ready um, or whatever. And yeah, cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna combine my get ready routine for content today into the hair video. I'd rather just make that a whole nother video. So I'll see y'all in another video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe.